Okay, this is Grammar Explanation 7.8 on page 189. And here we're just looking at a very simple thing that happens where we can use an ING form. The ING form is called the gerund. It's when I take a noun and add ING to make a verb. And this is just something that happens when the main clause and the time clause have the same subject, we can delete the sub subject of the time clause and use the present participle, or the gerund, after the time word. So, Einstein left before he finished his studies. Einstein and he are the same person, the same subject. So what I can do is this. Einstein left high school before finishing his studies. I can replace he finished with finishing. Okay. After Einstein left high school, he studied mathematics and physics. Okay. After Einstein left, okay, I can say after leaving. Here I've moved I've changed he to Einstein here, so I'm still clear who I'm talking about. But the subject and the verb here can become just ing. And in the second set, notice that Einstein becomes part of the main clause. When you do this, you have to think about how to use the names so it makes very clear um, who you're talking about. So when I said after leaving, I left out the subject Einstein, so I want to put Einstein here instead of he, so that the person I'm talking to still knows that I'm talking about Einstein.